Let's learn how to add transparent strokes to paths and objects in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. In a blank canvas, I'm just going to make sure I've got a fill and stroke set. So let's just change my fill color to, let's say, this yellow, and I've got a black stroke here. So I'm going to draw out two shapes on the canvas. So let's just grab my ellipse tool. Let's just draw out one, and let's draw out a second on top. Grab my selection tool, select both, and let's come to my stroke panel and let's just bring up the weight of this stroke. So let's just say 40 for the sake of this tutorial and we'll set the stroke to center and let's collapse the stroke panel. So we've got one ellipse on top of a second ellipse. So with the selection tool, let's select both of these, right click and create a group. Then with the group selected, not the individual shapes, so select the group, come to the appearance panel. And if you can't find this, go to window appearance. And in the appearance panel, you'll see the properties shirt of the group. So under opacity, select this. And we want to select knockout group. So we don't want the dash, we want the tick. So make sure that's ticked and then select off. And now we want to select the top ellipse directly. So come in with the direct selection tool, click off the canvas, deselect, and then let's select this ellipse specifically. Now in the appearance panel, you'll see this will change. This now gives us the properties of the path. So we've got a stroke and a fill. So check the arrow to open up the stroke properties and under opacity, set this to 0% and press enter. And now if we use direct selection tool and we click and we click and drag, you can see now this ellipse has a transparent stroke that is cutting out from the shape behind it. And we can further confirm this by selecting off with selection tool. Let's grab my rectangle tool and I'll just check off the stroke and select a different fill color. So let's just select this pink, click and drag out a rectangle and then right click, arrange, center back and there you can see this confirms now if I go in with the direct selection tool you can see now the transparent stroke cutting through the objects and you can see objects behind the group and this transparent stroke remains editable so direct selection with this ellipse selected come to my stroke panel again if you can't find it go to window and stroke and what can I change here well I can change the weight so let's just put this up to 80. You can see that makes the stroke bigger. I can use the dashed option here. I can also change the stroke profile as well. You can't see this with the ellipse, but I can also change the caps and corners. Now, one thing I can't do is align the stroke to the inside. You can see here it disappears. And the reason for this, if I go to the appearance panel and I set the stroke weight, let's just say to 20, you can see here the stroke is now partially visible and you can see the stroke protruding on the inside is not cutting through the shape. So bear that in mind, if I set this back to 0%, I can use the center and outside stroke options, but I won't be able to use the inside stroke option. So again, just something to bear in mind. And there you have it, simple transparent strokes for paths and objects in Illustrator. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.